Today, we're going to be reacting to the truth about Gobilax. From blatantly cheating on console siege, floating his way to play with Jinxie in tournaments, replacing an icon in pro league, to eventually becoming a pro player himself, playing with one of the best players of all time. This is the controversial rise of Kobilax. Subscribe to help me go full time with making content. Elian Kobilax luck, Rodriguez was born on August 15, 2005. Kobilax is currently one of the only players in pro league to represent the dominican republic but how did he even get there first we have to go back all the way to december 1st 2015 when rainbow six siege would be released although siege had a rocky release Kobilax would begin playing the game before year one would even come out i've been playing siege before his first season came out kobe would start playing siege on console where he would quickly fall in love with the game even though old siege had its problems it was still iconic and kobe would enjoy playing the game free diddy, but do not eventually free diddy. wanted to play the game more seriously each season ubisoft was releasing for siege was a banger up. after banger from seasons like operation blood orchid to operation parabellum siege was increasing in popularity after every single season hey chat which season of siege was peak and everyone was feeling passionate about siege there were viewership records being broken the hype was real for r6 and even though Kobe was still on console, he wanted to be the best. But there was one season that would change everything. That season was Operation Burnt Horizon. This season was full of new content, introducing Mozzie and Gridlock, as well as a Rank new map out in Outback. Although this season was full of new content, this season was the start of the downfall for console give it a solid siege. Something that you need to know is that five. using a mouse and keyboard on console is cheating, which for some people they like to deny or not understand that it's cheating. Siege is one of the only FPSs that have no aim assist on a controller or a mouse and keyboard, meaning that if you did plug in your mouse and keyboard, you would have an unfair advantage. And that's why PC and console are separated. To actually plug in a mouse and keyboard on console, you need an adapter, which is called the Zim Apex. Fuck so if you ever heard someone accuse someone else of using a Zim, that's pretty much means they swipe and they ass off. But this cheating dilemma for siege was never really a thing up until burnt horizon for me 2019 was the first time i ever saw someone using a mouse and keyboard on console so mnk quickly flooded the top ranks meaning that if you wanted to compete you either had to suck it up and try to beat five swipers every game or you could join them so that's what 95 percent of the top ranked players did they started swiping if you played the game legit on a controller at this point it was shocking. I'm not kidding. It was literally shocking to play the game normally. Sometime also in 2019, people started booting people offline and DDoSing the servers. So you could Skype? legit <laughs> not join people's Xbox parties if you wanted to not get hit offline. They use this tool called X Resolver. I know some of you just got PTSD and you joining the party would mean that they get to hit you offline and oh, they would no. win the game. There's also so much boosting going on because you could be a top champion and play Bio, with you the prime. The ranking system would then put you against all plats. Overall, this broken ranking system, nobody talked about. All of this was pretty much under wraps because no one cared about console siege. Everybody that was good would just switch over to PC, but not Kobe Lax. Since he was not old enough and still wanted to play siege at the highest level, Kobe, then along with the other 95% of mousers, would start cheating. Kobe would get so good using a mouse that he wanted to play more than just ranked. He would start playing in tournaments with other top ranked players. One of those players was Jinxie. Kobe would become a regular character in tournaments playing with Jinxie. He would quickly be known for his personality during these tournaments. It was honestly hilarious to watch. Let's go, everybody lock in. Yo, Mira, 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 wait, Kobe picked Mira? Wait, what reality? I, mean, I could go Mira, I, mean, I like Mira. Wait, am I on Earth? Like wait, am I on planet Earth? Kobe just picked Mira? <laughs> Somebody pinched me, is this a dream? <laughs> Okay. Kobe, I'm gonna mute the mirrors. I'm what fine. can they do? We're I'm watching, the we're mirrors. watching so the truth about Kobe Locks. <laughs> hey, Jake, double spawn peek. Lou, Lou, double spawn peek. Yep. Double spawn peek, double spawn peek. What can you do when you can't leave the spawn? Lou, 247, Lou, 247, 247, no. 247, 247, no. Yes, 247. 
Oh my god, my brain is just like, I can't keep up with these calls, bro. It's only pet phase. It's gotta be a 2v5 Kobe. 247, Kobe would keep playing with Jinxie occasionally and would start thinking about his future with Siege. He loved playing in these tournaments for small cash prizes, but wanted to be more than just another mouser on console. This, along with the fact that he was turning 18 soon, he decided to switch to only playing PC Siege in Operation Dread Factor of May 2023. This would be the start of a different journey. Kobe would eventually turn 18, and as soon as he did, he started playing comp. His first ever season on PC, he would hit champion. This was due to him being very experienced on a mouse and keyboard that the Switch was not at all a Switch. He would quickly join a T3 team known as Envy and play in the Xenon gaming series, placing sixth with his team. But there was a bigger tournament that Kobe wanted to try out for. This was Element 2. Element 2 was a tier 2 tournament where teams had a chance to show off against actual professional players. Anybody could try and qualify for this tournament. This was Kobe's time to shine. Nobody sure, thought that this the team would do very much, considering that there are actual pro league teams that play in the tournament. But something unexpected happened. They kept winning. Artist desperately trying to make his way in, but there's a mirror window in his way. Giddy's gonna get the first pick for his team, kill the attic player, but Gunner is dropped in kind. Karn and Giddy, this is a solid the team. two support Karn players and for Karn and Co. I remember playing these guys in Challenger in League. 2v4, double the man count on Envy's side of things, and down goes Giddy. Who would have known? Who would have known that the man, him Gunner and Diffuser would be on the same team? Good. Himself getting lit up, self blinded. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be it. Sound the trumpets of Envy's revolt. The kings have been dethroned, and the new kids on the block have stolen the crown. Envy or our new T2 champs. Kobe and his team would dominate Element 2, leading him to get picked up by an even better team known as Makers. Makers was an ex pro league team looking for the best of the best, and Kobe quickly proved why he belonged. Kobe would then do the exact thing when Element 3 came around. He was now even more ready to prove why he was an up and coming star. Not giving this up whatsoever. Two players committed to this position, committed to stopping Wildcard right in their track. Tracks, and there's two kills there's three kills Kansan the last member standing after makers light up the scoreboard what the GG comes out from Giddy 20 seconds remaining four seconds per for player for Kansan to find Kobe throws himself at the problem yeah, spring but it down. just delays even more time the Capkin trap to add insult to injury Kansan knows this game is over Kobe, the two-time. Packer, the three-time. Makers are your E3 champs. I need to watch Rubino more R6 competitive. gained him an invite to one of the most popular teams of all time in R6, which was Dark Zero. But this couldn't come at a worse time. On August 26, 2024, Dark Zero would release a tweet saying that they released Canadian from the team. This change came out of nowhere, since Canadian was the team's it's IGL, kind of weird seeing which Canadian is pretty much Sonics the team's now. captain. Without even receiving a heads up, Dark yeah, Zero this is had easy. done him dirty, and Canadian felt cheated. If you don't know who Canadian is, he is one of the greats at R6, playing Siege competitively since 2016 and winning half a million dollars from playing Siege. Canadian responded, After putting the time, effort, sacrifice, and thought that I did into this team for three years, I thought I deserved better than this coming without any sort of discussion or attempt to resolve issues. I'd be remiss not to say I'm disappointed in how most of the team handled this. But oh wait, what was bad? So I thought the team, the three years of the desire, wow. Hmm. But basically, Canadian was just saying that he didn't enjoy this team. 
I thought it was a uh, shoes. I'd be remiss not to say I'm disappointed in how most of the team handled this, Not but dancing. who would replace him? Of course, it was Kobe Lex. Kobe would be joining Bolo and Dark Zero for the upcoming NAL season. The Sonics would pick up Canadian, and he would be the team's new IGL. Dark Zero's whole entire identity was put at risk for some 19-year-old gunner. Lettings for Dark Zero weren't really working out anyways, and up. they needed a drastic change. They needed another fragger and picked up T2's best. But would this up. change actually help? Would Kobe Lax actually Thank live you. up to the hype almost written out of the nfl script the sonics would play dark zero the very first match of the nal and this is what happened they might leave Canadian, but this Canadian bar position crazy, unchecked but, I mean, they Gricks are especially pushed quick. so far up that will likely Probably. be checked he's looking towards the stairs the at the moment and the instead found first no Somebody going to the diffuser. No Somebody's way. Somebody's got to be watching. The please Capitao stop. is not looking. No way. One Somebody second please. left. No He's way. won the game. Oh my God, bro. One before. No. What was the, the score? No oh my God, two to six. That's the a tough loss, bro. No way. One Somebody second please. Left. No He's way. Won the game. That's a tough loss. One before. Although Dark Zero lost to the Sonics, there were definitely some moments that would go to show Kobe's impact. One game doesn't mean the end of the world, but Canadian was definitely playing with a chip on his shoulder. At the time of recording, Dark Zero is currently placed second in the NAL, right behind Sonics at number one. Both teams definitely best what second teams are top in right the now? NAL. Sonics, Dark Zero, Space Station, Cloud9. M80, Lowe's, damn, and Oxygen. That's tough. L, right behind Sonics at number one. Both teams definitely benefited, and it's going to be very interesting each time to watch them play. So that is how Kobe Lax went from a cheating Who does Zim to play for? with the likes M80. of Bolo and against Canadian. If you did enjoy, subscribe, follow my Twitch. I'm out. Dude, Kobe, like, if y'all don't even know Kobe, bro, he literally created, like, generational R6 terminology. Floating is from Kobe. What can you do is from Kobe. Miha is from Kobe. Like, that guy is, like, a icon in R6 community, in the R6 cons community. Do I get Wait, to Kobe choose just the last me. map is? Kobe Lax just texted me. Kobe. Oh, my God. Kobe's coming back to Xbox. Kobe. Yeah? Kobe. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on, Jinxie. Hold on. I'm streaming. I'm streaming. One second. Chad, it's Kobe. It's Kobe Lax. It's Yobi. Wait, one second. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yo, yeah, Kobe. Bro, she, she. how you been, bro? It's been like a year. Oh, I'm chilling, bro. I'm just floating. Floating right now. <laughs> I'm floating bad right now. <laughs> I'm floating right now. <laughs> Yo, Kobe, what is that jinxy Kobe, love? Can you come back to Xbox, bro, please? Yes, boy, it was nasty yeah, on bro, Rogue. Play Roller Sunday, bro. Bro, that roster, I actually, I, that's actually like, I love that roster. Like, that was such a, I feel like the... The synergy on that roster uh, must have been good. What was it? You had Cryon, Kanto, Leon, Spoit, and uh, D Peak. Yeah, that, that was a solid. That was a, a solid. That was a fun team.